Trying to beat the train! We can make it! Be a hot shot. I know you from someplace. Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. She's real. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Come on. Son of a Come on, throw him in there, chop him up. Throw him over. Adios, swim with the fishes. All right, hello everybody. My name is Ian Zinn and welcome back to Mafia. Now we left off while we were fighting our way down through five layers of parking lots and killing off Morello's guys while trying to get back to the warehouse with crates full of scotch. And here we are about to take Salieri for lunch. So let's do it. Pepe. No fast food restaurants, just restaurants. No KFC, no McDonald's, no none of that. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. Let me figure out how far the place is. Okay, it's over there in North Park. Carlo called in six, so Don Saylor needs you to drive him to lunch. Looks like we're getting pizza. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. listen to something else. Every time I see the cops, I'm gonna go on speed limit. I'm gonna obey the law. Oh god, he's going where I need to go. I just stay behind him. And... Must be nice for you. Sometime away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Try not to... Uh, that's better conversation, boss. Random. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though. We're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Ooh, that would have been a serious wreck. Shut up. Stop honking. Okay, Mr. Police Officer, where you think you're going? Chinatown? Dang, everybody makes driving look so easy. I don't know if stoplights were a thing. I think they were but probably not as much. They didn't have turn signals. They probably just had to stick their arm out and just hope to God that somebody knows that they're taking that left or right turn. They had these horns. That horn sounds like it's, um... That horn sounds like he, um... Ran out of gas. There's that police officer. Just joyriding. Look at this. It's just beautiful. This, this freaking horn sounds like a dang trumpet. 
Yep, forget the stoplights. As long as the cop was there, I would have just left. I like to eat early, Tom. This ain't early. In fact, it's getting kind of late. I'm hurrying. It's not my fault we're going so slow because of the cops. I know you want to get there before it gets crowded. I understand that. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't sorry, Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. <laughs> and to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Okay. <laughs> uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Silvieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Wow, we can't even enjoy a nice time. Just eating lunch, minding our own business, having somewhat having some laughs. Just try to enjoy ourselves. And then Morello sends these goons over. And I bet he knew about it the whole time. I don't know how he knew, but Morello's always got a trick up his sleeve. He doesn't always want to start out a he doesn't want to start a full out war. So he always keeps this kind of stuff to himself, plans, and knows that it's the right thing. If that even made sense. But either way, let's just kill these goons. Get out of here. No, go that way. I gotta get out of here. Run! I forgot how to run. No. Once it's clear. Now what's this? 
Super science. Book of science fiction. Take okay, the gun. Get ready to ambush those guys who attacked me. Ambush the ambushers. We're gonna ambush the ambushers. Whoa! He wasn't even on the radar. Well, they already know about that. Die. Okay, time to finish you guys off. Or finish your car off so you can't get away. These guys ain't getting no dessert. On this kid, you really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. So it's Carlo. He set us up, not Morello. He's probably tag team along the side of him. Probably telling him that me and Salaire were going to lunch at Pepe, and then Morello sent these goons out to take us out. Surprise us. But we ended up ambushing the ambushers. Going to his apartment, pretty much just going to interrupt their makeout section. And I'm assuming killing him. Well, yeah, obviously. Someone sent to, someone calling in sick because they know you're about to get killed and going off with some dame. You ain't walking away. He ain't getting no dessert. You're just gonna get a beating. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, well, I can't, because there's yeah, a well, cop right there. Had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. Well, it sucks these police officers you know here what? have to obey the I'm law. Glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You get ready, guy in. You give get ready to see Salieri go into action here in a second. A place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage. Any of them could have been him. All of these notices were from Carlo. He's been ratting us out to Morello. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. Yeah, for Carlo. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. That's the last time I pause you ever it. You see me whack at guy time? It don't happen much, so you know I'm gonna make it special. Oh, this ought to be exciting. And we get the front row seat. Actually, the dame will get the front row seat. Because she's going to be right next to him doing it. Alright, here we go. Put the gun away. My bad, I thought we were... Why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. 
What the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> Okay, bus. Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Uh, Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Looks like a girl when he runs. Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Run, Tommy! I'm literally holding Sprint. You got something to say? Say it. They ain't no turning back now. Spill every single bit. The staggering's about to get on my nerves. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change of leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach, Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. Mm. So the army must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since Kill Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Ugh. Morello's got a smart ass little brother. The day the war began, trophy. Straight up, it's war thumb. 
From today we are at war. Yep. And we didn't start this war. But yeah, we were at war at Morello's gods, but not like going towards him and killing us. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Well, trust me, you're getting ready to see all kinds of it. He brought this war on themselves, not us. We're just trying to keep our neighborhood safe. Just keeping an eye out for any comics. Hey, it's true that Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Blessing Carlos. Yep, Carlos deserved it. Guy kept complaining about sitting on his ass all day. Let me get this comic that's in here. Or maybe I can't. Is there an upstairs, upstairs? <sighs> Come on, people. You're teasing me now. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. morell has got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. Counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. So I'm doing everybody's dirty work. While Polly and Sam are just having a... A cruise. They cruise riding. We're getting ready to go on the steamboat. They're the getaway drivers. So we're getting ready to crash a party on a steamboat. I guess we're gonna be going in disguise, or act like that we're part of Morello's gang. Or sneak on the boat somehow. Either way, we're gonna kill Galati. Even though we killed his son. Probably still a little ticked off about it, but hey, it's his birthday. Let the guy celebrate. How far is it? Okay, that's not far at all. He's throwing a party on a steamboat, yep. As soon as he blows out them candles, you shoot him in the face. I know this is going to be a fun level. Going to be mingling. Kind of like um, some of these undercover missions in Call of Duty. Like when you're an undercover like soldier and you have to go around talking to hostile enemies. You know, trying to get them to spill the beans about 
um, other people, but try not to act too suspicious while you're doing it. That's kind of what's making me feel like what's going to happen. Okay, I see it. That fancy little Kentucky boat. Steamboat of Kentucky. Okay, let's walk. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. Uh, I'll take one. Thank you for your patience. Come on, guy. Okay, I see two bouncers over there, so they're the bad guys. In the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this after the speech and fireworks. I have a feeling we're probably gonna have to sound mask our shot. When the fireworks go off, we pop them between the eyes. Well, everybody's celebrating. Yep, they're gonna think it's an accident. Probably end up shooting the fireworks and maybe exploding him or get putting him. He's gonna be on fire. I just love guessing. City, you know. Makes it so interesting. Make it feel like I was right. So many predictions. So many predictions. So many predictions could happen. It's all curious to know about. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. The sailor back there who works on the steamer, his head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. So we're going to disguise the sailor. Clean the poop deck. So I'm not allowed in the bar area. The Queen Crew. All oh, the Lost Heaven Queen Crew. I think that's supposed to say Clean Crew, but whatever. Must be on the lookout for suspicious behavior, so I can't be running like this. Or I, I, I can, but I just want to treat it like it's real life, like I've been saying this whole time. Okay, he's in there, but let me go get this comic. Marco Morello. Number eight. Number one is pro is going to be me. I just know it. Me with a Tommy gun. And that's the steamboat. The Bella Kentucky. I think that's what it's called. Or what it what is what it's called now. Cause yeah, them suckers are fancy. Yep, get ready to swap the poop deck and clean some toilets. Make the place cleaner and safer. Know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get a witch? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen. You 
better be there on time. Don't worry. Don't worry what? Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good time. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits you. Yes, yeah, stuff it, Paul. At least I'm actually tailgating. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. Well, I'm here, aren't I? You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Polly and Sam are kind of getting their wits about each other. Hey, you almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean the toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Let me just hear this music really quick. What I'm waiting for is Galati to come out. Hope this is not copyright. Okay, it's the same thing. Let's just walk around for a little bit and see what's going on. So that's the lounge area. Can't go that way. Thanks a lot, pal. Sorry if I'm ruining the, the fun. I'm gonna be a big shot when this is over. Be a hot shot. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Okay, so this guy is suspicious. Listen, shipmate. Someplace else. I get it. You don't want um crew members, you know, mingling with the guests. They're supposed to be doing their jobs. I understand. Look at this view, man. Look at it. Sunset. It's just gorgeous. Nobody back here. Hell, I could just sit right here. And just look at this beauty. Just think to myself, you know, just lean on the railing and just think about what I'm going to do. Think about how this life's actually starting to kick in. Okay, I can go down. I can go in there. Just, I want to explore a little bit more. I can go downstairs, so I'm going to go this way. Don't mind me. I'm trying to find the bathroom. Dang, there's another layer. Hey, guests only. Okay. Hey, go scrub your decks. This is off limits. Yes, ma'am. Okay, same party guests. Someone just leaving their invitations lying around. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room.
Okay, I'm seeing a comet too. I don't know if it's on this. I don't know if it's on this side of the deck. He's a man with connections. I can go inside the kitchen. I won't touch anything. Man, that food looks good. What are we serving breakfast? Night breakfast? Super science. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look at the map. It's just water. That's, that's so cool. Because you're just so far out. Hopefully we won't crash into an iceberg. Okay, more weird shit. That's quiet in here. I can go down even further. I saw the fireworks remote um, detonator. Yes, I know. The stink of the city is just... It's just so foul and just all these people are so rude. It's just repulsive. That's exactly what people like her. They make me sick. There's the fireworks. And Galati probably has the detonator. I don't know why I said I found the detonator. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Damn, there's bathrooms everywhere. We got a lot of work to do, but hey, that's not gonna get done no time soon. We're gonna let all these other bus boys do it. Say they're on break. If you're talking about Galati, yeah. So he's just talking about how to start the fireworks. There's that guy again. Nope, oh, not in this toilet. This probably leads outside. Yep. Okay. There's some health. So you know there's gonna be a shootout soon. I hid the gun in the jam in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Keys on the table there. Wow, dude. I should throw you overboard just for being so lazy. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Okay, there's a fox right around this corner. Or some... There he is. So if you miss that, it's over. Treat the gun, so it's back upstairs. Okay, down here. I do know you. Yo, with Salieri. So what are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Come on. Son of a Come on, throw him in there, chop him up. Throw him over. Adios. Swim with the fishes. Oh, it's stuttering now. He's caught up in it. Dang it, I keep forgetting it's down below. Glad nobody heard it. Wait, I swear, 
I swear, man, I'm getting so off track right now. It's in that bathroom. Right? Yeah, this bathroom. About to start. Oh, we stopped. It's getting dark, too. This is let's get ready to happen. Yep, enjoy the entertainment while it lasts. I'm getting ready to be the party crasher. Pop Galati's head like a balloon. Wait, wait, wait. There's a... I see a dime detective. Okay, I can run for some weird reason. Yep. Smart thinking. All these followers are probably going to be shooting behind me, too, so hopefully I won't get a scare in and end up shooting the dang water. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me. Huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. As you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this deceased. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future, for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Here we go. Wait till they shoot off. Okay, wait. Wait till they shoot. Kill him, but hang on. Okay. Got him. Yep. Take a few more just in case he gets up. Alright, I should be concealed here. If they Well, take it back. Cause I'm cause I'm white. I can pretty much blend in with I should say with the background, but They can see me, apparently. Oh, crap. No. Okay, I'm... God damn fireworks. I'm just... Look how many fireworks there are, man. I think I'm dead. I 
I think I'm dead. Ah! Son of a... Okay, I can't see. I can't see anything. I can't see them. Okay, just... Yep, fall off the boat. And let me collect your ammo. I need that gun. Oh, just run away. Come on now. He's gonna try and ambush me, isn't he? Oh, yeah, that feels better. Alright. This is the time we... Yep, I got a little tricks up my sleeve. Okay, get the gun. I need a gun. Like a Tommy gun. Not this... I ain't gonna say a piece of shit pistol, but... Something stronger. Because I clearly can't go out these doors for some weird reason. Wait, I didn't look in here. Might as well read it while I'm getting shot at. Celebrating Salieri when he's dead. And Frank, they think he's dead, but we let him live. So he's pretty much long gone. Ooh, you got lucky there, pal. Gotcha. Come out. Get something else. Ah! Come on, Tommy. Damn pole in the way. Okay, I'm gonna need some more health. Okay, I can't tell who's an enemy. Or what the crowd in the way, I couldn't tell. Whoa, you sneaky... You sneaky bastard. Just die, please. That's gonna be my gun when I get a hold of it. That guy jumping off the boat. Over here. Like it's the Titanic. <laughs> Matter of fact, it kind of feels like the Titanic, except we're not sinking. And there's it's not cold as ice out here. Still can't go inside the bar area. Which that'd be a good way to end it off. Okay, we're on the we're on the deck. The first deck. And there's the end right there. All right, jump off and let's end it. Yep, death on the water. I love how the candles are fireworks. I totally didn't even realize that till now. Dying on your birthday, whew. That's worse than dying on Jesus' birthday.
He's trying to beat the tree! We can make it! Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you two are off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can get that um, comment before I leave. Yeah, did you see that shot he just avoided? You know that man's lucky. The whole family. Wait, let me see that again. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That must be the day after the race, because Salieri was... We're in his little hat and yeah. Papone. Something about Morello mentioning him, which is I think is what started the war. Well either way, we gotta kill that lucky bastard Sergio. And he's probably gonna be very annoying to take out. Just that smirky look he had on his face. It's just probably going to drive me insane. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all where we take out that Sergio. At his house. In his